Hello, my beautiful people. I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome back to the channel for another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how you can make your own custom Fortnite 3D thumbnail without a computer. This will be done directly on your PlayStation 4. You wanna make sure you download the application called Share Factory. You can edit videos, photos, animated GIFs, and share it around social media with this application. So it's pretty cool if you don't know about it already. But before we get into this video, please smash the thumbs up button for me because it helps this video and my channel out a ton. And also don't forget, use supporter creator code MIDNIGHTMAN55 in the item shop when you're buying things in Fortnite, like emotes, dances, whatever. Because guys, guess what? I am so close to getting my first ever cash out using Epic Supporter Creator Program. So huge thank you to everyone who's used my code so far. I'm giving you virtual puppy licks right now. Anyways guys, get this tutorial started. What you're gonna wanna do is pick a cool character that you wanna get this thumbnail with. After you've done that, go back to the play tab and select the game mode playground. Or if for some reason that isn't available, select the team rumble mode. And just as a friendly reminder, be sure that in your settings that all the game modes are set to record. Once you're in the match, go to a scenic place you think is cool. As you can see in this video, I'm going to the newly destroyed tilted towers with the lava pits everywhere. It's going to be an awesome thumbnail. Guys, you got to love it. Smash the like button because it's the coolest thumbnail you're ever going to see in this world. You can go grab a gun, maybe some fun items, and just mess around for a little bit. Or if you have something specific in mind, maybe like a dance you want to do behind a certain background, then do that as well. Probably the most important thing to keep in mind here is just when you're posing to be level headed so that way you're not facing down to the ground or facing up to the sky because then that will look kind of weird for your thumbnail. Once you've completed your desired action that you want to get a thumbnail of, you can exit. Then once you're in the regular Fortnite lobby again, go over to your career tab, go to replays, which is theater mode here, and then go ahead and select the replay that you just did in Playground. Now that you're in the correct replay, go ahead and skip forward to where you had your action take place that you want to get a thumbnail of. That could have been where you were doing an emote or you were just shooting around. Just something cool. Once you line up the shot the way you like it to be, you can go ahead on the bottom left hand side and click on that little camera icon. You'll have a list of options come up. And if you press R1, you'll get a list of additional camera options. And if you look down the list, you want to select to yes the high res option. So then when you go back, pressing L1, you'll see that you can change your aperture, the autofocus, and these options will now let you get that nice blurry background making the thumbnail look even cooler. If for some reason it's not focusing correctly, you can set the autofocus to off and then adjust the focus distance the way you'd like. Once you have the shot framed up exactly how you want and you've adjusted the focus accordingly, clear all that stuff off the screen by pressing down on the left thumbstick, you're ready to take the screenshot. And to do that, all you have to do on your PS4 controller is press the share button and then select screenshot. Once you've done that, it automatically saves to your capture gallery on your PlayStation. And of course you have the option to share it via social media if you want to. Now that you've captured your screenshot off of Fortnite, you can go and open up the share factory application. And within the videos tab, you can either make a new project or just open up a project that you're already working on. So for my case, I already have a project I'm working on and let's get a thumbnail for this particular video. There's no particular place you have to put the screenshot in your video track, but I would suggest the beginning or the end just so it doesn't get mixed up within all your clips. To add the screenshot, just select X and then select add screenshot. Then just look for your screenshot that you just took. Once it's selected, just click square. And from here, you wanna select X again and then add an overlay. So you'll have the option to add stickers, theme stickers, imported images, and text. Uh, within text, this one is a pretty good selection for text. And then just type out whatever you want. The best option to select after you're finished typing out your text is the transform option. So that way you can place where you want that text to appear on the thumbnail. And you can also adjust it by turning it slightly, shrinking it, just by using the commands that are listed at the bottom. If you wanna add more layers, you can just select X and you'll be able to add more text. Maybe even put a sticker on the thumbnail, like an arrow, people love those. It just gets automatically a million views. Once you feel you've completed what you have here, you can press circle to back out of that and that'll be the rest of your project. And if you feel you're ready to set this as your thumbnail, you wanna select the options button 
and then scroll over to generate thumbnail which will generate the thumbnail for the entire project. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and delete it by selecting square and selecting delete clip because you don't need it anymore. Your, your thumbnail is generated and now you have the rest of your video. So what I'm gonna do now is actually upload this video to my YouTube channel, but I'm gonna put it in private because this would just be the strangest video to appear on my channel if it just went live. I can do this by pressing triangle, which will share it and will render this video out. I'll select YouTube as my form of uploading, change the title up here, set it as private, and I'm good to go. Just share it. Now that I'm on my computer, I can see that it successfully uploaded and the thumbnail is there as well. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. It's pretty easy to do. I think it's really awesome of PlayStation to allow you to record directly from the console, no capture card required, and then edit on the console as well via Share Factory. And let's say the video is around Fortnite, you can go directly into replay mode, get a very high resolution shot, then add the screenshot to your video timeline on the project, add some text to it, stickers, something to make it stand out. And the great part here is, is that when you upload the video to YouTube, the thumbnail automatically uploads with it. This is honestly fantastic for people who just don't have access to a computer or editing software, photo editing software, that kind of thing. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smack the thumbs up button. And also, you support a critical Midnight Man 55 in the Fortnite item shop. Help a smaller channel get a little bit of extra something something to put back into the channel because it's all for you guys. I decided not to do face cam for this video and just show some cool gameplay that you might enjoy in the background. Plus, I got to win. Come on, that's pretty cool. If you guys have any questions about what I showed you in this video, make sure to sound it off in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.